Hi everyone, I'm Yu Song Tian and from China, and our university is the National University of Defense Technology. Today, we will discuss some how to deploy and scale Kaden Cloud for the lending cloud with the thousands of nodes. And we will introduce four contents. First one is the background and the deployment and the optimize the for the lending. And lastly, we will introduce some case. And just uh, I introduced uh, last year, and Tinker 2 Supercomputing Center is uh, built by our university. It is sponsored by Ch China's government. And uh, he currently, he is the first uh, super machine of the world. He has uh, 16,000 no computer nodes in, in our computer system. And he gets the number one of all the top 500 list and with the peak performance is the 54.9 Peter Flops. And uh, for our team, and uh, we, think, we think the Tango to Super Computer Center is uh, an open platform for research and the education to provide the HPC service. Besides the HPC, and we went to let Tango Two Supercomputer as a public information infrastructure. So we think the Tango Two is more than HPC, and uh, so we build our plat uh, cloud uh, platform on Tango Two Supercomputer. How we can deploy the, our platform? And uh, we we deployed our Kitten Cloud on two thousand nodes, and. Uh, each each component has a uh, one one hundred and twenty eight nodes in each component, and each node have a uh, two in Intel five CPUs and uh, six four gig mem uh, memory. And then our Kitten Cloud is based on OpenStack as a host version, and uh, the host OS is Ubuntu server. LTS version, and we use the LSF as a background storage, and um, deployed the service and the and OpenStack component is the puppy. For our two thousand computer nodes, we use the thirty two uh, computer nodes as a controller, and there are some API nodes. LVS nodes, network nodes, and the MySQL database nodes, and the RapidMQ nodes, and the theft monitor. We all deploy to the all service to, with uh, our cluster, so he gets a uh, high availability. Besides the controller nodes, we all other nodes are uh, normal compute and uh, deployed as a uh, OSD. Yeah, and we use the um, Ceph as an um, all-in-one storage for glanced image storage and the volume backend and the instance storage. Yeah. How about our network um, top element? And then um, each computer node have two gig Ethernet um, interface and one can uh, NI highway speed uh, network. And we use the one giga for giga Ethernet, Ethernet for management, and another one Ethernet for video machines communication and uh, to run the workload. And uh, we use the our high speed network to, for the self storage. He can get high I/O bandwidth. This is our network toplet. Yeah. <coughs> And we deployed um, Solens node, so we can, we can can't deploy the, the OS image with the disk. We deployed uh, our host OS based on Dicklin's system. Use the high speed network to pull OS image and partition the hard disk when the first one the first boot. And the design of the IP and the host name with the post boot configura configuration field. 
how about uh, we, how can we do optimized for the range application? And uh, currently, and uh, we just as I said, we deployed um, our killing cloud on thousands of nodes. And uh, the most, and the current most uh, our the, the biggest uh, customer is uh, our render user. And uh, for render application. In China, most uh, guest OS are Windows, Windows operating system, and uh, there are some someone are uh, used the recent OS, and uh, the London software is Maya, and uh, how be because the we optimized the the London application, we should uh, get the, the correct uh, analysis, the correct of the render work workload, and uh, for Render application, they are mostly uh, CPU intensive, and uh, when it run, almost 100% uh, CPU are running. And uh, another one is a large memory requirement from the materials and the uh, models. And uh, we should should short read and write directory for for some uh, virtual machine. So the Runtime application, we think, is a CPU intensive and the I/O intensive the application. So we can construct such a architecture for runtime cluster. Runtime cluster, there are one runtime server to schedule the runtime job amount some runtime runtime computer nodes, and uh, this com this runtime uh, computer node. He will read a common date from a short read server and write the common date to a short write server. This is our architecture, and uh, we print under our principle of the optimize. And uh, there are four principles. The first one is stability. We should get guarantee the stability of the render casting, and uh, no one can went to read subject to the job. And the second one is the performance. We will make best use of the ability of hardware. The third one is uh, data pri private protection because uh, every customer can uh, use of the video machine to product his uh, commercial. And the last one is uh, how to easy to use the, the, the use the customer to use and the maintenance and then his virtual machine and his cluster. And so for host OS, we optimize with some some solution. And the first one is enabled hyper-threading and set the proper volume of the swap and adjustment over commit memory and over commit ratio for which machine. And then the force and we use the KSM method. That means the kernel same page merging to optimize our learning performance. Because the, just like I said, we deployed the self OSD and the computer no and the normal compute on our same computer node because they are CPU intensive and I/O intensive. So we should optimized the KSM to get a high performance. And uh, this is uh, very important for, for our experiment. Is these experiments are very important for learned cluster. And uh, for HT test and uh, we use the thin bench because the uh, our computer node has a uh, two thin fry uh, uh, Theron CPUs and uh, they get a physical 20, 24 cost and the uh, thinning bench can get the, the two thousand and the two, two thousand and the sixty and point and uh, <coughs> after we enable the HT and uh, we can get the, the full score about the twelve and the twenty four and the thirty six and the forty eight and so if we can. If we went to get a high performance of the server, we should 
down the HT. For host OS, the, the largest value to open the field limit in QMU, you can avoid the too many small few. And if we, we can bind the vCPU to physical CPU's core when necessary. And uh, for guest OS, for Windows guest OS, we can open the RDP and uh, we should uh, improve the network performance and uh, with the TCP Windows size, uh, with the component TCP congregation provider. And uh, the panel of the learning cluster, the number of uh, which machines in which cluster should then extend uh, 200 and uh, because to avoid the bottleneck from the bandwidth of the short, read, and write. And the for operator, we get some advice. And uh, the download upload of the data reject should wait until the render job is, is finished. And uh, we sh should automatically the configuration for each video machine use, use the script and don't submit too many jobs at the same time. And um, this is our case. We provide uh, more than 2,000 storage machine for for customer to render his cartoon film. And uh, we also we provide the rendering service on internet and from just last month. That's all. Thank you.